Mississippi thieves targeted Jefferson Township Church for a second time. Good evening. I'm Marsha Bonhart. I'm Michelle Kingsfield. Police say the crooks stole the air conditioning unit. Megan O'Rourke live with a message from church leaders to the bandits. Michelle Marsha, right now the folks at the Lower Miami Church of the Brethren are bracing for another hot Sunday service in the basement. Disappointing since this was supposed to be the first weekend with the new air conditioning units installed. Checking the, the temperature would be 86 and then 88, and it was 90. It was 90. And that's pretty uncomfortable. Pastor Nan Urba is preparing a special service for this Sunday. It's about persistence, something both church members and the thieves who took their air conditioning units overnight know a lot about. Life takes twists and turns. This is not the end of the world. It's just disheartening and discouraging. Pastor Erbaugh says the new units were installed on Monday. Fence and security lights to protect them went on on Tuesday and by Wednesday morning. I was anxious to get here today to see how the new units looked. And instead I'm getting to see this. A small unit was stolen and one of the two large industrial units damaged. Crews are supposed to come out sometime over the next couple of days to see what they can repair and what's going to need to be replaced. Urba says covering the insurance deductible is going to be a major setback for a church this size with just about 35 regular parishioners. But I think what we're going to have to do is really sit down and say, what can we do? Is we thought that what we had done security-wise was enough to maybe alert someone passing by or to slow someone down. So that the police might happen to see them, well, it obviously didn't work. So we need to think about what we're going to do here before we jump in and put another unit in. But just like the message she's preparing to deliver Sunday, the pastor knows the power of persistence. We'll manage somehow. We'll manage. Now, I asked church leaders about donations to help cover the cost of the insurance deductible, but they tell me they would prefer the people wanting to help donate to St. Vincent's Food Pantry instead. Now, in the meantime, if you have any information on the AC thefts, call Crime Stoppers at 222-7867. Reporting live, Megan O'Rourke, 2 News on your side.